I'm gonna bring out the pie, the finished product. I'm gonna get it out of the freezer. Now, if you wanna if you wanna cool it down quick, put it in the freezer. It's best to cool it down at room temperature. There she is. Isn't that lovely? Our beautiful pie. Excuse me, guys. Just a minute. Oh, now. The ingredients, I'm gonna mention, I'm not gonna, well, I'll just say it, are accurate. All the ingredients I did, don't pay attention to the top one, that's some other recipe for another pumpkin pie. This one here, I'll give you a minute, minute to read it. You can pause it at any time. And I think I'm doing this all upside down. I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. Well, that's the ingredient. You can pause that at any time you want. Those are the ingredients. Now, you don't have to add salt. I didn't add salt to this. Now, if you notice the, the holes, that's from the toothpicks. But anyways, that crack there is, I think it's the reason why is because it cooled down too quickly. And you notice the color? That's the same mixture I had from yesterday that I put in that little bowl, that brown mixture, well that condensed this carnation, that, that's what lightened it up. That's the only reason you put carnation milk in there. You know, evaporated carnation milk, okay? That's the only reason, I think, I don't know, to lighten the color. <laughs> now this is a homemade pie from scratch, minus the crust. The crust, again, I'll show you, I use, just drop the fork. I use this right here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I got a cold too, man. I swear, this has been a crazy winter. Uh, okay, there she be. And the instructions come in the back on how to prepare it. Now I didn't cook the I didn't cook the pie crust before I did it. I forgot about it. I just poured all the filling in from yesterday okay now let's get down into it let's get down into this baby it is lightly warm it's 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 perfect I can just I can tell it's perfect let me get me a good knife here oh. I'm using a skinning knife but still I'm gonna go ahead and just oh man this came out good I, I could tell. I'm gonna take a little slice out of this here. Yeah, that's perfect. My very first pumpkin pie, man. I'm happy. Video man is happy. Happy, I'm telling you. I've never done this before. Okay. Get that out of the uh, dish rack. All right. Let's see how this comes out. I'm gonna, it's gonna blow my mind. I hope it tastes good. I, I'm quite sure it's gonna be just as harsh as, oh man, look at that. Oh. Minus the, yeah, I kinda got stuck in there, but it came out. I can't believe it. I can't believe I can actually do this. Now, this is not the best pie in the world. There's, I've seen so many pie, how to make pie videos from different people. It's not even funny. They all look good. You know, they all, they're just fantastic. Okay. Pardon me. Golly, I, you know, that's kind of rude. I just might make this video all over again. Okay, because of the, it's, you know. But anyways, I'm going to try this. I am going to try this. And I'm going to enjoy it. very first pumpkin pie ever made. Now I don't have the whipped cream. Uh, oh man, it came out perfect. Here we go, moment of truth. Did this actually come out good? <laughs> mm. 
That is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. It is not too sweet. I can't believe it's not too sweet. I put a whole cup of sugar in this. Plus, I'd say ha about half a cup of brown sugar in this. And condensed milk, dairy farm, condensed full cream, and carne. that's sweet too. It's not as, it's not as heavy. It's not as like hot, you know. Maybe it's because I put that, that mixture in a bowl and left it sit overnight in the refrigerator. That's probably what. This is fantastic. My very first pie. The filling is homemade. I added three eggs. Three eggs. And half a cup of carnation milk. Uh, I mean, yeah, carnation evaporated milk. Half a cup. Plus the ingredients I showed you on the screen. Now, my very first video, I'm going to show you, I'm going to write it down on the description below of all the ingredients I used, but I'm not going to add the eggs, okay? You don't want to do that, so I'm going to put the ingredients on that too as well, so you guys don't mess it up. Now, the ones that know how to make pumpkin pie, you don't need to watch this video. <laughs> But if you don't know how to make it, this is how this is one way of making it. There's so many videos out there. I don't think anybody's gonna see this video. You know, all the videos I've made, just my family members watched if they had time to, but not all of them. You know, not not not, not the general public. Now I'm gonna show you guys something in addition to this. Let me go ahead and move this over here. Get this out of the way. Now I gotta clean this. All right, oh, just a minute, I'll be back. Maybe I should add some music into my videos or something, edit them. That's probably why no one's watching them because they're not, they're not quality. You know, they're just no music, it's not edited, you know. Anyways, I'm gonna show you a quick drink. And I'm sure, I mean, if you think about, there's a saying, if you think about it, if you think about it, it's already been done. I've thought about this. I'm using, I don't have coffee right now, I'm out. I'm not using fresh coffee, I'm just using, you know, instant. I'm using this stuff. I don't know if you can see it, but there should be. Nescaf. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of Nescaf and one half teaspoon, not tablespoon, teaspoon. I'm using one teaspoon and then I'm also going to use one and a half teaspoons. Just a little bit more, but not, you know, not two half teaspoons, one and one half teaspoons. If I'm doing, if I'm saying that right. And Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Okay, Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Of course, I'm gonna use one teaspoon of Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Not in there, right in here. <laughs> All right, now, I'm gonna heat up the water in my microwave do this real quick here. Uh, let me get, oh shoot. I can't pause the video and, go, and, cut, and come back, so I'll be right back. I, I'll be right back. I can't pause the video and start, I, I mentioned this before time and time again. On this iPad that I'm using, I can't. Just a minute, guys. I'm sorry. Just I'll, I'll hum the theme to Jeopardy while I'm doing this. Da 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 Na 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 na
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I had to wash this. I'm going to heat up this water to a good two degree, two minutes. Now this microwave has a little flaw, so I have to kind of shimmy this door. There we go. So two minutes of nothing but jabbering. So I'm 13 minutes and 25 seconds into this film. 15 minutes and 29 seconds later, that will be done. Maybe, if I did it right. Anyways, I've got the chocolate with Smiths, Miss Smiths, whatever. I have to look at it again. But anyways, it's good. I like it. And of course, the Nestle Nescaf Dolca, if I'm saying it right, D-O-L-C-A, instant coffee. So, to go with this pumpkin pie. Believe me, I'm going to eat at least half of this pie before the night's over. And the rest I'm going to save for tomorrow. Maybe it'll last me about two days, three days. I eat a lot. It's a small pie. Not really, but it's a small pie. Oh yeah, and another tip, back to this. This you can cook anything. If you don't have a stove right now, because you don't have gas, this is the ideal thing. You probably already know that. Okay, I had it set for, gradually, when I cooked this pie, I gradually went from 350 to 375, 400, 450, and around 400. And that's when it started getting nice and done. It even rised, man. When I stuck it in the freezer, it rised. That sucker rised. It, went, it rised up to about here, about an inch. And then when it cooled down, of course it went down. But this is perfect. It's not too sweet for some strange reason. I only use one cup of sugar 